क्या रे इंस्पेक्टर घर पे बीबी बच्चा नहीं क्या तो इतना बहादुर बन के लुक्का छुपी खेल रहा है हा? Hello 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 this is Pratiksha Mishra and you're listening to Do I Like It a Quinn production where we review anything and everything under the sun and in this episode I'm going to tell you if I like ghar bandook biryani Uh okay ghar bandook biryani is essentially a uh, it's a marathi film directed by Hemant Avtade and there's a lot going on there's a lot there's like three stories going on uh, I feel like Yeah the three stories going on that could perhaps be best described as ghar bandook and biryani let me give you some context so now the film is set in a fictional place called kolagad in maharashtra we are introduced to pallam played by sajish shinde who is essentially the leader of this rebel group and we meet them in the forest and they move their camps here and there they have weapons they have ak47 i think is what is mentioned they have grenades and everything and um there's a whole shootout with the police a whole, a whole thing is going on so they're essentially i'm assuming enemies of the state the leader pallam uh, he is or commander as he is called in the film is upset because he misses his partner why does he miss his partner because well he loves her but also because she used to make great biryani see that's where the biryani thing comes in biryani is another thing that you will remember is that there is one very very talented cook who makes absolutely delicious biryani honestly mera my main take away from this film is that i do want to eat it like i want to eat the chicken biryani that raju makes he is the cook raju played by akash toser akash toser's character raju uska main motivation is ki usko ghar khareedna hai he has to buy a house because he wants to marry someone and uska condition is ki he should have a house that he can take her to Next in the ghar bandook biryani storyline we have Raya who is a police inspector played by Nagraj Manjule he is that aisa singham type cop you know goes beats up bad guys ek mukka padta hai char log udke girte hain uh, a lot of action he i think this film essentially focuses on Nagraj Manjule as an action star cuz he has so many action sequences so many of them but do i like the film do i like the film Before I dive into it I want to tell you that you can check out our other episodes from this series as well as our other podcasts from the Quint on our website or wherever you find your podcasts from. Let's continue. One thing that I do enjoy, one thing that I did like about the film is that the director gives a sort of empathetic lens to this rebel group and so just being like oh enemies of the state here's a police officer they're going to fight blah 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 whatever whatever this is whatever we actually get an empathetic kind of view we see we see how they behave with each other we see their them being goofy we see them being happy we see them we see them being sad we see them fighting we see them being angry it's it's all there it's all there it's such a humane look at this group and i think in for marathi cinema positioning a film that has a rebel group in such like a protagonist way or in such a pivotal way is rare so i think this is a great experiment i am like in the marathi films that i have watched i haven't seen this happen so like i could be wrong i could potentially be wrong but i think it's rare but still even if it's not a good way to show this i also like that we have our main man cop but it isn't saying that oh all the police people are good and it's the system is great and blah 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 whatever we see like sure there is a bit of a hero worship of the main hero that's there that's there like he's the best cop he's so good good job you know thumbs up to him but we do see him fighting enemies outside and within the force you know so there's you see a kind of the corruption as such in like systematic corruption is also explored in the film and that's also very very fascinating very very good to see The main issue is that the film is so long. It's 2 hours and 45 it's close to 3 hours long. I was at my limit. I don't know maybe my attention span has gone down but I can't I couldn't do it. I mean also because there wasn't much happening it was just so much of the film was just action sequences. Like the last climax is so long and it's just people just running around shooting at each other and it's oh my god. I was exhausted. I was genuinely exhausted. Like, वो स्क्रीन पर भाग वो रहे थे थक थक हम गए थे That's that's how I felt. अगर पल्लम और राजू पर ज़्यादा फोकस होता आई फील लाइक द स्टोरी वुड हैव बिन मच बेटर एज अ फिल्म आई डू लाइक द आइडिया ऑफ यूजिंग घर बंदूक बिरयानी एज मेटाफर्स इन द फिल्म और एज लाइक एज रिकरिंग मोटिवस इन द फिल्म बिकॉज यू सी द फाइट फॉर होम इज सो इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सप्लोर्ड इन द फिल्म यू सी कि सबको घर चाहिए राइट सबको खाना चाहिए एंड बंदूक आई गेस रिप्रेजेंट वायलेंस दैट यू नो वन मे बी वन टर्न्स टू इट आउट ऑफ नेसेसिटी वन वन टर्न्स टू इट आउट ऑफ ड्यूटी वन इज जस्ट वायलेंट बिकॉज यू नो द नॉट ग्रेट पीपल सो इट्स अलॉट इज गोइंग ऑन एंड दैट्स वाई आई रियली इंजॉयड दिस फिल्म 
just like its title in itself is pretty good another issue i guess would be just the women in the film why just they're just there they're just there like it's all all the tropes all the tropes have been covered the wife that you can make fun of the woman who's there so she can die and get take the story forward the one that yells at her, at her husband for very valid reasons but the film doesn't think so um the ones you can brush aside the the older woman being a little flirty being used for comic effect almost kind of made to be creepy it's we've all seen this before and and it sucks to see it in this film also i would rather them have just focused on these three and not given us all of this you know <laughs> like would rather like it's some representation you know how they say all all publicity is good publicity i think that's not true some representation i would rather have none like i would rather have no representation than horrible representation so that that bothers me that bothers me a little bit about this film but the female characters weren't on screen long enough for it to be a huge bother either so i guess that's i guess my main critique would just be that it should maybe have focused on these two more on pallam and raju more i would have genuinely enjoyed it then but ah well he's having his big action star moment good for him the action sequences are good well choreographed that's not the issue it's just there's so much of them the background music supports it brilliantly so that's very very fun really enjoyed that and i think they hinted at another film they hinted at like a sequel and i am oh, it's so long but as it stands i'm ambiguous about the film that's my that's like if say if i was to give you the final verdict of do i actually like it i did but towards the end i got so so mind numbingly exhausted so i guess that's me putting it in a line but yeah if you're going to watch the film tell me what you think and i think it's doing great numbers in the box office so good for them and that was all for this episode thank you so much for listening do i like it is a queen production executive produced by ritu kapoor and shelly walia hosted by me pratiksha mishra produced and edited by prateek lidhu with music from ghar bandook biryani and bmg production see you next time you were listening to the queen's podcast